Most people in life are trying to make a life worth living and return worth having. If you're not, then I feel sad for you. If you haven't thought about your retirement because you're like, well, I'll deal with it when it comes, then I still feel really sad for you. Because retirement comes whether we're ready for it or not. We time out of our work. People want to get the newer and more seasoned, not necessarily model. They want to get the newer child out of school who they can pay less to do your job. In life, we have to be honest and real about our retirement. Do we have enough money for retirement? I would say most Americans do not. So what do they have to do? They have to get second jobs. They have to go on to second careers, meaning they're going to change the work they used to do to do something different in order to have cash flowing in their life. I met a lot of people working in retail that way when I had to work in retail a short time while my late father was transitioning to heaven. But what I've learned over the course of time of living in a city in a moment of homelessness after a cyber attack on my life, identity theft and fraud on my life that is still committed almost every day by people that I don't even know and I can't even say hello to today, that I just wonder what are they thinking? Are they really thinking that God is going to bless their lives for what they're doing? Are they really thinking that they're going to get out of this difficult situation that they're obviously in, worse than me perhaps, because I have a God and they have nothing but their own ideas about life. And their ideas about life are, I have a territory and you're in my territory. That is not true. In America, we have small businesses. We also have micro businesses. And maybe you're running a little micro, micro business called panhandling. But who chooses to give to you is based on who chooses to give to you. What I do for my living in my ministry has nothing to do with you. What I do in my business for political consulting has nothing to do with you. How I earn my living by giving prophetic giftings is my business, nothing to do with you. How I make a living by doing psychic readings for entertaining people is nothing to do with you. How I choose to use the skill sets that my God in heaven has given me or I have earned over the course of history of my life in my industry and my work is up to me, not up to you. I encourage every person to find their own gifts, their own talents, their own skills, and go out and do the best you can with them. But other people are not really your competition. You are the only competition to you.